What have you seen from you and these guys defensively the last couple of games that's worked so well? We just we really locked in, you know, really locked in um, together as a group. Really just trying to, you know, get some stops. And um, it's been it's been working. You no, know, definitely gotta finish out some more rebounds, but it's been working. Do you see it as just kind of spending more time together as a group and the continuity that comes with that, or is it something else? For sure. The more the more time you you spend with a group of people, you you, be, you begin to get more comfortable, you know, and more comfortable like where we are on the floor, what the other person is going to do. So, you know, you start to be able to figure things out. Do you feel like, too, guys are holding each other accountable more? Yeah, for sure, especially because you know what you can expect from somebody now on, on, on a nightly basis. So, it's you know, it's easier to keep each other accountable. Do you feel you're becoming more confident now as a group? Yeah, for sure. You know, as a group, definitely becoming more confident and it's starting to show in our play. That accountability piece, did, did the players only meeting help that? That seems to be one of those themes that was talked about. Mm. Yeah, for yeah. sure. You know, I feel like people have been taking that, that conversation to heart. And you know, coaches have been honest as well. So it's been good, you know, collectively. Excuse, you, got to, you got to almost mid season of your first year. Uh, what's been the hardest thing for you to maintain consistency? Yeah, definitely consistency. I mean, it's, um, it's a different game, you know, like every other night. Um, so. Trying to you know stay tuned, stay locked into everything that I have to do on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm gonna get used to it. I'm gonna get used to it for sure. What about uh, like your body, physically, how you hold it? Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. My body's good. I'm feeling great. <laughs> did like the people around you, obviously Steve and, and your dad, did they help you prepare for what that grind is like? Was there any advice from them on how to deal with it all, or is it just yeah, um, players? Or what was it? I'm glad I really had my dad around. So last couple of summers, you know, I've been going out to train in LA, taking care of my body, getting my body right for, for you know now, so that when I'm in season, you know, I'm able to play. And thank God I'm healthy, and you know, I kind of already know certain things to do. So I'm thankful for that. So I know that coming in, my body's prepared. What did Dame do that made you guys? I mean. What did you learn from that first matchup? How many threes you hit? Like nine, ten? I have no clue. We haven't really talked about it uh, that much yet, but um, we got to keep them off, keep them off that line. It's, it's tough when he's shooting it from the logo. Defensively, last couple games that that's worked well. Uh, good, great game plans, and we're just executing. Uh, it's nothing overly complicated. Just have a good game plan, and we execute. I mean, there was a, there is a difference at least from when you look at opposing field goal percentage and things like that. It seems to be a difference. So, um, is it is it that simple though? Is it just executing mm -hmm. the game plan so that wasn't happening all the time before and it's happening more recently? Yeah, I think we're just growing up and getting better. Um, we're locking in on what we need to do. Um, I said it's a good game plan. We're executing it uh, very well. We're rebounding. What's been the mindset defensively? Yeah, we're just not overcomplicating anything. Um, you know, we're doing a, a good job of, uh, you know, doing, uh, you know, sticking to our coverages and, um, you know, just executing our coverages, uh, being disciplined in that, uh, not overcomplicating things, like I said. And uh, I think we're rebounding well. Um, it's a big sign. Obviously, the season didn't start off like you guys wanted to, but even when it was down in the beginning, you guys were like, look at the East, like, number eight speed is seen as, like, four games under 500. Mm -hmm. Do you guys still look at that and say, I mean, anything's possible? Yeah, anything is definitely possible. Uh, we just take it a game at a time, man. Uh, just continue to work, take everything a game at a time, uh, try to get better as a team, and, uh, you know, we'll see what happens at the end of the year. I know you said the other day, you know, you worked the same. Mm -hmm. practice, but, excuse me, what, is, what has changed for you personally in these last several games? Uh, just more comfortable. Um, coach put me in great spots. And teammates feed me the ball, give me uh, the ball in great spots. And, uh, you know, the summer work that I put in, the work I put in, you know, in the offseason, um, you know, work I'm still putting in during the season, it's just, you know, uh, reaping the benefits of it. So I uh, just got to keep staying focused. Keep simplifying the game. Um, you know, being efficient as I can, and 
you know, take it, take everything a game at a time. Do you feel different on the court when you're playing the next game? Uh, better rhythm for sure, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, better rhythm for sure. Uh, RJ mentioned that he thought that, uh, you know, guys were holding each other accountable on, on the defensive end a little bit more. Was it, do you think after that meeting, um, has, it, has that been different, just guys being able to hold each other accountable? Absolutely. More yeah, absolutely. We were able to, you know, talk to, talk to each other. You know, it's never personal. Uh, we just want to hold each other accountable because we just want to win. At the end of the day, winning is the only thing that matters. Um, it's the common goal that we all have. So, you know, regardless of, you know, you messing up, I'm messing up. Let me know. I'm going to let you know. And uh, we're just going to roll like that. You know, we're not going to, you know, um, complain or anything like that. We're just going to hold each other accountable, uh, do what we need to do individually as a team uh, to get wins. That's all that matters. So, any shit from you? I mean, I I don't know if you're going to start this season this way, but lately you've been saying the only thing that matters is winning. Mm -hmm. That, I mean, that's all that's matter. Even you in know, the beginning, with, with that's all that's matter. Like, yeah, that's all that's matter. Uh, you know, development or not, we didn't come here to, to develop, but you know, we want uh, you know to bring you know the younger guys along and help them. But at the same time, we want to win. You know, that's our expectation. So, um, you know, I said that's the only thing that matters. And uh, you know, from my end, that's the only thing that matters. Any thoughts about Portland and seeing them again and coming them coming in and, and especially Melo? Yeah, I'm sure, it'll be a great environment. You know, it'll be a lot of, a lot of love for Melo here. It should be. Um, so I'm excited uh, to see that. But I'm really, honestly, ready just to get back on the court. You know, these three days off gonna seem like a long time. You know, when you're playing good basketball and, and you're having fun and you're winning, uh, you want to keep experiencing that feeling. So I'm just excited just to, to get back on the court. I don't really care who it is.